Hello, my lovely Gemini. We're gonna get right into the rest of your July monthly forecast. Apologies for the wait. Had some camera issues, but <laughs> here we are, Gemini's, and as well as what is coming in for you, what you need to look out for. All right, what do you need to know? To trust your intuition. If something does not feel right, if something frustrates you, you know that you need to make a choice. Well, make a choice for you. All right. Put yourself first for once, Gemini's, okay? Well, that was straight to the point here. I see the fire sign energy that you drop, you know, your ego for you. Like, you really want to get to know this person. And it's like, they're disappointing you. Because it's like, if you can see here, you see this mermaid giving this person his cup. This is you giving this person his cup. And this person just simply wouldn't take it here, okay? And for some of you, if you guys are in, you if you are in separation with this person, this is how they feel that they 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 messed up. They should have chose you instead of being um, immature. <laughs> let's just let's just tell like it is, Gemini is immature. All right, we have both. They're having closure issues. They're having issues moving on here. But you're receiving what you need. I know right now it might not feel this way, but know that this is the right path for you to take. It's time for you to heal, and how to do that is to remain stable and grounded, stay in the present moment. Okay, it's the pinnacles if you can see the earth. It's all about just staying present and finding your happiness. So they're definitely sorry watching you, looking, stalking your social media here. For some of you, they put you in a competition where it's like, or made you paranoid where you always have to look over your shoulder. This could have been someone that this person had a child with creating drama. All right. I have the eight of wands here. A lot of uh, you will be traveling for the end of the month. Have fun. Uh, This is very like particular. I can't believe I'm saying this, but if you're on vacation and you're hooking up, please be aware of STDs. That's all I got to say. Like, I don't know where that came from, but be mindful of who you're hooking up with. All right. It doesn't even have to be, you know, that type of instance to even be kissing or something like that. Just just be careful. All right, trying to keep it PG for you too. <laughs> Spirit wants you to have fun, okay? This per this person is definitely getting, getting their karma because if this person put you in a third-party situation, um, this person, the other person has left them. We have cancer energy. Um, again, they see you having fun, take a higher resonance, and now they want to come towards you. We are in a new moon in Cancer energy, so this could happen around the full moon cycle, but this is how this person is feeling right now, right? They're stalking you at the moment. So I encourage you to go out, have fun, set goals here if you're leaving a past person behind, right? They're going to get their karma, okay, if they haven't already. You know, luck is definitely not on their side with the Will of Fortune, Geminis. Sorry, I got to clear my throat. <clears> throat. I try to do it off camera. <laughs> So don't be angry over what happened anymore, you know? Your emperor energy is time to be in your masculine energy. Take action, okay? You're already, you're already in your feminine energy. But take action on what you want, okay? I know it hurts. It pisses you off. But this was delayed for a reason. Because, and you also have money coming in, okay? Promotion, bonus, new job. You have someone who's in your corner who's going to be a leader. They see you as a true leader, Geminis, all right? Someone's pissed that they should have been this emperor energy when in reality they were this king of wands, very selfish and wanting, you know, their cake and eating it too. This person could have a child on you, third party situation. I want to clarify this three of swords energy because I'm getting there's some pain from your childhood as well, Gemini's, that needs to heal. Yeah, disappointment from your past where you always had to like guard yourself or um emotionally unstable parents so you had to like isolate in order to feel in order to like get through things okay which has caused anxiety in your life okay spirit wants you to know with the nine of wands energy that you protect your own happiness you don't have to dwell on things that you know hurt and disappointed you you protect your happiness and your peace you know your mind our minds as a human can just be crazy right when we're filled with this grief and anxiety we don't know how to get out of you know these are nine of swords on top of this woman and she's only holding it with one arm here you know it's gonna crush her head she can barely even get out of bed she's dangling so i understand these deep dark moments but you have to find the bright light and it's there it's there, Gemini's. And I know it's easier said than done here. I'm going to get some new moon and cancer advice. What does Gemini's need to know? To bring love in a situation, be gentle with yourself. Your dreams need a practical plan. What I say, get grounded, set goals, and know that beautiful, that you are good enough, okay? Good things will happen to you. You're going through this massive awakening where it feels like you have lost it all, okay? 
But Spirit wants you to let go so that you can find this beautiful new beginning in love. Get some advice if you can with the High Priestess. Even if that's praying, journaling, getting things out helps. Someone really misses you though, Leo Virgo energy. And they know it's not going to work out, but they're going to try it anyway because they had you for some competition with somebody. So just be mindful of that, you know, um, as July comes to a close. But you have new beginnings and it's all in your choice. I do see new love coming in. When the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups energy be aware of pregnancy. Um, and again, like I said, hooking up with someone, if you are vacationing with them, just be careful. A stranger, all right? I have the shadow side. So yeah, this person <laughs> is scared to approach you. But what I have to tell you, Gemini, is, is don't be afraid of who you are, right? Like, there's a lot of passion, a lot of love inside you. And just because some idiot couldn't give that to you doesn't mean you have to carry this weight. The Ten of Wands energy, this person is carrying these heavy ass wands. They can drop in at any time. That's why free will comes into play. So you have a choice. Do you want to work on manifesting the life and love that you want, Gemini's? Or do you just want to stay stagnant here and just keep wishing and waiting? You know, you need to get on this boat and sail. Right now, you're not on the boat. If you can see that. This is the six of swords somewhere in this water. <laughs> and you're in reverse. So, you know, take a choice. And again, be gentle with yourself. Know that you are good enough. And again, focus on your dreams, Gemini's. I'm going to leave it here and I'll see you next week.